Introduction to the Assemblies of God Missions Since the beginning of the Assemblies of God, their primary focus has been one thing, to reach and preach the gospel to the lost. And this is our mission, the Great Commission. Go into the ends of the world and preach the gospel to all the nations and to every creature. So, since the beginning, that's what the Assemblies of God has been focusing on. Going out everywhere, anywhere, to let the world know who Jesus is. Most people think that you have to go to a far country to evangelize people. Well, in actuality, your life is a living testimony of evangelism. Some people think that you actually have to preach the gospel in a way that's repent of your sins, John the Baptist style. But in actuality, your life is a living testimony. By the way we have relationship with one another, whether it's a cashier, a waiter, a waitress, uh, whether you're just passing by or through a gas station, little and every, every single moment of your life is evangelism. You know, everyone's watching everyone, unconsciously or consciously. So going into the nations, what he's saying is, when you wake up, you have, you're in the world. You exist. And by your existence, everyone is watching. Whether you have a great following or whether you know you have a following, that is your ministry. Your ministry is to focus on the relationship that you have with Jesus Christ. Who is this Lord? Who is Jesus? You know, and seek him out. Find out who he is. And whoever and whatever you do, and all that you do, Facebook, you got YouTube, you've got all the access, your phones, you have parents, you have friends. Everyone has friends, at least one. Everyone knows someone who knows someone. And the way you live your life is being observed. How you handle situations. How you go about um, holding yourself uh, accountable to the things that you should and shouldn't be doing. Um, and everyone is watching you. So evangelism doesn't necessarily need to take place when you go into a country that you're unknown to. That's important, and that is what the Assemblies of God is trying to focus on. But it's also what you do right here, right now. Most missions is what they also try to focus on is Getting into the culture, but not being of the culture. Understanding the culture that's happening around you. This is very important, such as language and uh, dialects and all these things play a key component, but how we preach our message. We want to give a clear and effective message as possible. You may want to say something like, Jesus died for your sins, right? Some people are, everyone's very different, for example. Um, you may be ministering to someone who needs to hear it a different way, such as uh, God, creator, forgiven. You know, everyone speaks in different contexts as far as, you know, the word selections that they use. And everyone is, has a different background as well. So back early in the growth of the church, we were, only, we were pretty segregated as far as, you know, America was the only people who knew who Jesus was at the time, even though we are Gentiles. But God, you know, is not biased to anyone. And, but we are. And within that being said, we had to learn that to go outside of our native language or of people and to go into these places where we don't speak the language. We don't know the people. We don't know the culture. We don't know how they live and what they think or where they're from, you know. And our concept is to build relationship with them. Anyone can stand on the street corner with a microphone and say what they know, but it's a completely different perspective when you're trying to get to know what the culture knows. And not only that, you're investing your whole life over a period of time. Not a quick like on Facebook or add this person and say, they're my friend, I know them. No, but to actually build and invest time, you will never get back to get to know who your neighbor is and to care about 
your neighbor's needs. This is evangelism, and this is what the Assemblies of God um, has been for and pro since the beginning of, of their um, ministry. And this is what we as Assemblies of God want to do as well. If you want to be a part of the Assemblies of God, it's more than just preaching the gospel and knowing the Bible. It's more than just telling people to repent of their sins. It's more than just saying a sermon or doing Christian-like attitude um, that fits you. It is a lifestyle. And it's now, and we have the opportunity to show the world, not just in, where, show the world wherever you're at right now, what, who Christ is and what the Assemblies of God believes in. We thank you for watching. God bless.